So hi friend, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So as you all know the cutoff of round 1 CSEP Council 2021 is announced now. If you haven't checked the cutoff for round 1 of different type of college that is an IT, IIT and GFTI for all type of category has been uploaded on the official website. You can check that. So here I will provide you a short analysis regarding the cutoff of different category and what you can expect in the next round for all type of category. So try to listen this video very carefully and if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe to my channel so that you will get all type of information in this channel only for different type of entrance exam and different type of counseling so now if you talk about general candidates many NITs cut off goes around 1 lakh for general candidate uh, particularly for female candidate I have seen so many a student have got the seat up to 1 lakh rank and you can also check the same by going onto the official website it is the CSAB 2021 so now if you talk about EWS candidate uh, there is not so much different in general and EWS candidate but there was around 15 to 20 thousand gap that is 1 lakh rank a student also have got the seat if they are from EWS category so now if you talk about for uh, OBC candidate that and cutoff for NIT goes up to 1.4 lakh also and, and for SCST candidate the NIT cutoff goes to 2.5 to 3 lakh and I have already provided you the reason why the NIT cutoff for SCST or PWD candidate goes low because of the TFWS scheme tuition fee waiver in NIT NIT college they will get the tuition fee waiver and on the other hand in triple IT and GFTI they will not get the TFW scheme so that's why the NIT cutoff is not uh, so much higher uh, as compared to the triple IT and GFTI uh, so now if you talk about for general candidate then there is not so much difference in triple IT and NIT because in triple IT only good branches are available that is uh, that is CSE and EC so there is not so much difference available in the cutoff in, in case of, of general candidate but now, now if you talk about for SCST candidate there is huge difference in the cutoff if you compare it with the NIT college it is the student have got the seat up to 4 lakh and 4.5 lakh rank also especially for SCST candidate and PWD candidate can get that because the CRL rank has been used here so don't be confused while checking the cutoff your CRL rank has been used you all have got the benefit of your category but your CRL will be used suppose if a student from SC category they might get the college at 3 lakh rank also on the other hand uh, a general candidate might not get the same college with 1 lakh rank as well so now if you talk what you can expect the, in the next round in the second round of CSAB counseling 2021 so, so as far as my information is concerned I think the cutoff will change so much so much in the next round because now I am talking with so many students and after talking them many students are taking the option of withdrawal so once they withdraw all those seeds will be will be filled through the second round that's why there is a second round in the CSAB so I will suggest you do, uh, keep your patience and now if you talk a spe a specifically how with how much rank you can expect an IT, triple IT and GFTI so if you are from general candidate then if, then if your rank is 1.5 lakh then you can expect any type of an IT with any type of branch that is biotechnology, chemical engineering with for dual course as well and if so, you are from EWS or OBC then you can expect it around 1.6, 1.7 lakh as well and if you are from SCST then you can expect it above 3 lakh rank as well that is 3.5 or even 4 lakh rank as well so before going forward for this video I would like to inform you that if you need any type of counseling guidance for this CSEP counseling or Jack Daly counseling or, uh, or Comet K counseling, MST, CET counseling that is you are confused between so many colleges where you should join where you should not so you can contact me after after discussing with you and if possible with your parents I will provide you uh, the clear information where you should join where you should not after, uh, after comparing all those colleges whatever you have. So if you need any type of guidance like that you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number once you register with me I will guide you for everything from now till your admission is done so that you will not have to regret later after doing a mistake or after joining a wrong college or wrong branch so if, if you want you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box so let's continue this video and now if you talk about triple IT yeah. then, then if you are from general you can expect it around 1.6 lakh rank as well because whatever will be the seat available it will be given to the any any student whoever will be available there because there will be very less student as compared to the first round because all those students who will take the withdraw option those students will not participate in the next round so now if you talk about if you have OBC candidate that is how much rank you should have at least to get triple IT college so your rank should be around 1.8 lakh then you can expect it in the next round so if you talk about SCST candidate then you can get at any rank because uh, many SCST students will not interested to take admission in triple IT college because there will not be tuition fee waiver and they will have to pay the fee uh, so if you are from SCST candidate and you are looking for a triple IT college or GFTI college 
you can get it very high rank as well because the student who are registered with me they are uh, regularly contacting me and there and i am able to know what is the thought process going on different type of students mind that's why i'm providing you all the detail here so i will advise you keep your patience and if you are from general candidate and uh, you are thinking that any type of college i should get then your rank should be under 2 lakh that is for gfti college and if you are from ews obc that you can get up to 2.3 2.4 lakh rank as well and for scst candidate you can get, you can get up to 6 lakh rank or 7 lakh rank as well because whatever the seat will be available you have to provide the seat to the student and there will be very less a student as i am repeating the statement again and again so i will advise you keep your patience and one more thing i would like to inform you that if you need the counseling guidance that, that means as, as the counseling is progressing and now you will take the final admission so i know many students will have so many options to take the admission so it is very confusing whether i should go with this college or that college this branch or that branch so you should take the decision very carefully because this is the time or this is the most important time for your career so if you want any type of counseling guidance regarding that that is where you should join where you should not so that you will not have to regret later after joining a wrong college or wrong branch or up to the admission i will guide you how you should proceed with the admission because once you do mistake here then uh, then also your admission might be cancelled so it is advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number once you register with me i will, I will guide you for everything after talking with you and if possible with your parents as well and i will provide the final decision where you should take the admission where you should not so that you will not regret later after doing any type of mistake so thanks for watching this video please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all type of update in the later days also in this channel only